Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell button so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or in the internet. In the last two episodes of A Message to Manage Your Day, we spoke about what is true happiness and finding true happiness. In this episode, I would like to share some thoughts on the theme, Finding True Happiness Within. Dr. Peggy Hartshorn, President of Heartbeat International, tells a dramatic story about a woman who glimpsed the mystery of her unborn child. The young woman was seeking an abortion as she felt that she could not handle having a baby at this time in her life. However, she accepted the suggestion of Dr. Hartshorn to have an ultrasound. When the baby appeared on the screen, the woman was amazed to see the perfectly formed body, the tiny legs and the arms moving inside her womb, but did not change her plan about abortion. Dr. Hartshorn felt sad. All of a sudden, Dr. Hartshorn's assistant said, reach out and take your baby's hand. When the woman raised her hand and touched the monitor, as if by divine intervention, the baby stretched out his arm to the exact place of his mother's hand. On the screen, his tiny fingers met hers. This experience transformed her attitudes and action. The woman decided against having an abortion and kept her baby, even though she knew well that it was going to be hard for her to have a baby at this time in her life. A sense of peace and happiness filled the depth of her soul. She wholeheartedly accepted the birth of the baby and was ready to take upon herself the troubles involved in giving birth to the baby and in bringing him up. There is a mystery inside you, the mystery of the image of the divine. Faith in the divine helps you to capture the image of the divine within. When that happens, you are filled with peace, tranquility, and happiness. Your attitudes would be transformed and your actions would flow from your transformed attitudes. That is what happened to the woman at the ultrasound lab. Her experience of the mystery of the divine within her and her baby filled her with peace, joy, and happiness. Thus, you can find true happiness within yourself when you open yourself to the mystery of the divine within you and in the other. Though the divine can intervene and bring about this depth-level experience of the divine mystery within you, in a moment, as in the case of the woman at the ultrasound lab, such miraculous divine interventions do not occur often and regularly. However, by cultivating certain attitudes, you can open yourself to experience the divine mystery within yourself and others. Thus, the cultivation and practice of these attitudes would facilitate you to find happiness within. Let us consider some of these attitudes. Firstly, practicing true self-love, being your true self, knowing and accomplishing your life's purpose. The kind of relationship you have with yourself is vital for your inner happiness. You must treat yourself in the way you treat the person whom you love the most in the world. While not condoning your faults and failures, you must learn to accept your gifts and limitations unconditionally and treat yourself with love and compassion. Your unconditional acceptance of your gifts and limitations and yet treating yourself with love and compassion would make you to be the authentic person you are called to be and help you to know your purposes in life and guide your life according to them. Secondly, being grateful, compassionate, and generous. 
You are grateful because you know that you have received much. Thus, thankfulness brings satisfaction and contentment. And being satisfied and content with what your life offers, you cannot but be happy and joyful in life. Gratitude, besides making you satisfied, contented, happy and joyful, makes you a compassionate and generous person. You feel with others in their troubles and reach out to them with a helping hand without any expectation in order to make their life happy and joyful. Making others happy will bring you greater happiness. Thirdly, focus on and accept the present moment and see it in relation to your past and the future. Beat your tendency to get lost in what went wrong in the past and be anxious about the uncertainty of the future by focusing on your present and accepting it. See the present as a time in which you can make right what went wrong in the past and plan creatively for the future. In linking your past and the future to the present and the possibilities it provides, you can bring the right balance in your life, which is vital for your happiness. Fourthly, being optimistic, light-hearted and seeing the bigger picture. Life is a mixture of good and evil. However, taking an honest glance at this mixture, you will find that the good outweighs the evil. And therefore, you have every reason to be optimistic than pessimistic. So, be optimistic. Be light-hearted instead of giving yourself to worrying when things go wrong. Learn to see the bigger picture that is unfolding in your life rather than getting lost in one particular situation that hit you hard in order to find true happiness within. Finally, practicing inner stillness, being open to the divine mystery within you and learning to gain by losing yourself. You must beat your busyness that makes you feel tired and exhausted and in turn leads to anger and irritability by practicing inner stillness. You can achieve this goal by following any form of meditation once or twice a day for a brief period of time, say 10 minutes each. If practicing inner stillness becomes a regular feature in your life, it lets you open to the divine mystery within you and experience it in the depth of your being. When this happens, you will learn the art of gaining by losing. You will be like the candle that gives light by burning its wick and melting its wax and will be a light to those around you. In being so, you will radiate your inner happiness in the life of everyone you encounter, which in turn will enrich you with the true happiness within. Do I practice true self-love? Be my true self and know and accomplish my purpose in life, thereby find happiness within? Am I grateful, compassionate and generous so as to find a true happiness within? Do I find true happiness within by accepting my present, by linking the past and the future to my present, and by achieving the right balance in my life? Do I find true happiness within by being optimistic, light-hearted, and seeing the bigger picture instead of getting lost in a situation that hit me hard? Do I practice inner stillness, experience the divine mystery within, and learn to gain by losing, thereby experience true happiness within? Dear friends, someone once said, you will never find your happiness anywhere but within yourself. Love that looks to another human being for completeness is not love, it's dependency. Other significant people in your life can enrich your life in ever so many ways. However, they cannot make you happy. For finding happiness is your personal task. And it has to be found not in the other, but within yourself. You will experience happiness within when you practice the attitudes we outlined above. And above all, 
be open to the divine mystery within you and in others. May the divine, the ultimate source of your happiness, help you to experience the mystery of his being deep within your heart and fill your inner being with true happiness, thereby make you a light that enlightens everyone around you. This is my wish and prayer for you, dear friends. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.